Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Jordy here, back at it again with another video. Today, we are going to head into Pure Muscle and Fitness for a training session with Mike, and then I will give you some life updates in terms of prep, in terms of my show plans, in terms of what Cal I'm seeing, everything like that after the workout, but I thought you guys would get a treat and watch me be tortured again doing legs. I'm honestly a little bit scared for this workout because yesterday was my rest day and I was a bit tired, and I've only had one meal today just because my meals got pushed back. I got up a little bit late, I slept in a little bit, so we'll see how today's session goes. If I cry, I'm sorry. If I throw up, I'm also sorry, but um, we are gonna go in and get started. So sit back and uh, enjoy watching me get tortured. i 
workout for today. I don't know about you guys, but I can see my face being like totally sucked in right now because all of the blood is in my legs. Honestly, that was um, a killer session. I'm absolutely dead. I thought that this one was going to be like a little bit easier than the last one just because I'm used to the kind of pace, but he kills me every single time and it is the best sessions always. I wish I could take Mike with me to the UK and just bring him with me so they can train me all the time just because he's honestly the best human ever to push you through a workout. If you guys are coming up here Muscle and Fitness and you want an epic session, you want someone to push you, he's the guy to go to. So just slide into the DMs and maybe he will say yes to you, but he is honestly unreal. Now I'm just gonna walk out for about five minutes just to kind of release any tension in my legs, make sure that blood is cycling there in order to start the recovery process. I'm sipping on some Beyond BCAs as well to make sure that my recovery is on point. There's also nootropics in there as well. So to get my brain functioning again because I feel like I am an idiot at this moment because all the blood is gone from my brain and it's in my legs. But I will meet you guys later because I'm going to talk to you about all of my show plans and any updates from Cal that he has sent over. So I will meet you guys back at the house. And I am back at the house. I just decided to come outside and just enjoy the weather a little bit because it's been so lovely here in Canada with 30 degree plus weather, just enjoying the sun, trying to get a tan. Honestly, that workout killed me off completely. Mike, when I train with him, I feel like I just gained so much in terms of like one knowledge, two, in the way that he trains me, it's like you consistently like kill yourself throughout the entire workout, which is amazing because it's been truly hard to train by myself. Even with like a shoulder workout that I did the other day, Brandon really helped push me through and stuff like that because it's been really, really hard. I even almost started crying during the session because it was really just a lot for me to handle. But overall, training has been amazing, uh, especially with Mike, and my sessions have been definitely productive. I'm noticing for sure that I am losing strength a lot more, and endurance-wise, it's very, very hard for me to keep pushing. So I am just trying my best at this point. We are currently four and a half weeks out, and I am so darn excited to step on stage. I know for a fact that this year, the package that I'm bringing to the stage is completely different from last year. I'll put like a little transformation of like my front shot, my side shot, and my rear shot that are in comparison from this time last year. And it is absolutely night and day in comparison. I never thought that my body would be responding the way that it is. And honestly, the fact that Callum and I took like an extended off season in order for this to happen was the best thing that I could have possibly done. I remember at the end of last year, I was so damn scared to prep again because my health was not in the best position. I don't know if I fully talked about what happened ever on social media, but basically Brandon and I were going to do two more shows after Ukraine last year and we were two and a half weeks out from uh, a Spain show and then another show in Italy. We wanted to keep going because we both thought that like it was really good for us in terms of like the feedback that we were getting. Brandon's feedback was just that he had to come in bigger and me, I just needed more conditioning. Now in that sense, I was already depleted. I had already been prepping for 28 weeks which is a long prep and one of the longest preps that I've heard people speak about because of the fact that last year I was obviously with a different coach and it was a different approach completely. And I just, I was dieted into the ground. Now, in when you are in prep, if anyone else understands this, you just wanna keep going and keep pushing. And you, like once you're in it, you just wanna keep going. And so I thought that I had that momentum and it was really nice because at the pro qualifier, which I was just hoping I didn't come last, I came third. That to me sparked this motivation and this belief in myself that I, I can truly do well in this sport. And since that was my first year competing, I didn't know that I could truly like do well. And that was reassurance for both me, Brandon, my family and also Callum. I feel like that was a little bit of a spark of belief because I wasn't with him prior to the end of that prep. It was with a different coach and I honestly didn't know what was in store for me. So that decision to come off prep was the hardest decision I had ever made because I just wanted to keep going. And then I suffered a lot of health 
uh, consequences because of that. So um, TMI, but there were blood in places that didn't need blood. I was basically bedridden for about six to eight weeks after prep, honestly, just getting up to do steps or to do my sessions. I didn't even have energy to really speak to my friends or your family or anything like that. I basically shut down and I went into this like kind of deep dark hole after prep last year and it was really, really scary for me. Like I did not think that my body would react the way that it did to that prep but it was because one, my previous coach wasn't checking on what I was actually eating. I was tracking macros within my uh, fitness pal and I thought that he was looking at what I was eating, but I was having egg whites for like three meals a day, not having like whole proteins, not having enough micronutrients or anything like that. So my body literally started to shut down. I was also having a lot of excess sweeteners because at that point I just wanted my food to actually taste like something. And when you're eating egg whites for three meals a day, you it's not healthy, it's not normal, and you don't have to prep that way. And this just shows from this prep that I'm going through now, the difference. I'm eating whole foods, I'm nourishing my body with amazing nutrient dense foods, and I'm feeling truly healthy, of course tired, of course that's part of prep. You're supposed to feel prep, you're supposed to feel tired. If you're not feeling tired, you might not be prepping properly. Like, I know people say that prep isn't supposed to be like, so hard but it is you're fucking taking your body excuse my language you're taking your body from one position of like excess body fat to literally going through a process of starvation which it literally is a slow starvation process that's not supposed to be easy your mental challenges that you you go through every single day it's supposed to be challenging it's supposed to teach you about like grit what you can take the pressure that you can put under yourself so i'm just truly grateful for this year because i finally feel like I literally said this to Brandon the other day I'm like I finally feel like a bikini athlete because I truly feel like one I, I ha I'm seeing those shoulder lines I'm seeing those glutes I'm seeing my hamstring tying slowly but surely peek through it's taking a little bit longer than I would hope and that I would like but I know that when it pops through it's gonna be there and I'm so freaking excited. But yeah, I don't know why I wanted to do a little rant, but I'm just very, very excited. Um, and in terms of changes with Callum or anything like that, no diet changes, no output changes. So still doing 60 minutes of cardio on the Stairmaster every single morning, 15K steps and same amount of calories. So everything in terms of output is still the same and I'm still continuing to drop weight. So I am freaking I'm freaking happy, okay? That's all the updates that I wanted to give you guys right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout and enjoyed my little prep updates and understand what kind of where I'm coming from in terms of like being okay with it being hard if you are in prep or even if you're not in prep, even if you're a lifestyle client, it's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be a matter, matter of discipline and consistency. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn post notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next prep vlog. Bye.